This tutorial is part one in a series of three. What I have over here is a stirrup pump, or at least something that resembles one. And over here a pressure gauge. What I'm going to do is create an expression that will detect the downward motion of the pump and use the subsequently generated values to rotate the pointer of the pressure gauge very gradually in a clockwise direction. The first thing I have to do is restrict the movement of the pump because as you can see at the moment it just goes wherever it wants to which isn't really very realistic and not what we want. OK, so I'll just come down here and set that back to 200 and then open the Expresso Editor. So we'll drag in the pump and it's the position Y that we're interested in. As per usual I'll make that a little bit bigger for you and then we'll set our coordinates, position, position Y and there we have it, now we're set up. The next thing we need to do is bring in a clamp node which is a new one, we haven't seen that yet. So as per usual we'll hold down our command key, bring up our menus, new node, espresso, calculate, clamp and there she is. On the left hand side of our clamp we have three inputs, a min, a max and down at the bottom a value. We don't have to worry about plugging anything into the min and the max, we can set their values over here in our parameter box. I'll just move this. Now I know that I want the maximum value of my Y position to be 200 which is already in there. So if I come across to the max and key in 200 over here, I've set the clamp up accordingly. Next step is to find our minimum value. I suppose we could have, well, say 100 in here, see how that goes? Let's try that. Oh, well that's a pretty good guess, isn't it? And if you believe that was a guess, <laughs> anyway. We'll key that into our minimum value over here in our parameters. So now we've got our minimum and maximums both set up in the clamp. The last thing we need to do at this stage of the game is plug the pump's position Y into the value of the clamp. So now you can think of the position Y as being the value between the minimum and maximums that we've set up in there. And that's how that restriction is created. The final stage of this part of the expression is to drag in the pump and give it the Y position at the input stage. Let's do that there. And there we have it. And then all we need to do is drag the output from the clamp node here, plug it into the input there, and now when we move our pump up and down, we can see that it's restricted. Can't go below 100 or above 200. And that's perfect. Great. So if you ever have to restrict the movement of anything, the clamp node is the one to use. It's a very, very useful node for doing this particular job. Well, that just about completes part one of this series of three tutorials. So I hope you've learned a little bit more, and I'll see you soon in part two.